Hey y'all, welcome to St. Martin. I'm Jared Paul, and today we are off the ranch. We're actually traveling. We decided to take a little island vacation with Laura, Franny, and I to celebrate Franny's successful tour. And uh, Laura just finished a huge work project. So we decided to take off for the Thanksgiving holiday. And uh, there's some really cool trees here that I want to get down and show you. I believe there's one that's an acacia. Um, there's two mango trees that are absolutely gorgeous I want to show you and then a weeping bottle brush as well so that's all coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Banzai This branch didn't belong, but when you come around, you can check out the trunk. It was actually a split trunk that came up and then grew back through. And my Delonyx Regia, that really looks a lot like this, it actually has that exact style going on right now. It comes up and then one branch is going, splitting between the other two that are coming this way. So, I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible, but uh, it makes me feel better about my Delonyx. Least. And then last thing I want to show you is look at these awesome buttress roots. This thing must be really old. Alright, so you know like any tropical island you're going to have a ton of palm trees. This is actually a Washingtonian and I had a few of these at my house at the southern tip of South Carolina and that was pushing it as far as getting them through the winter. Usually you'd have to wrap them up in burlap if it was going to drop below freezing, which was rare. But these really have no pool hardiness to them at all. And just going around the island, I've noticed a lot of uh, date palm trees and um, smaller fan types. I haven't seen many pygmy date palms or clusters or things like that. But they did have a pretty devastating uh, hurricane, Hurricane Irma, in 2017. And this place was just uh, reopened at the end of February this past year. So... Um, you know, I'm thinking that a lot of the palm trees were probably destroyed, and that's why you see, you know, some of these older, more established main trees, but the palm trees are, are a little bit younger. All right, y'all, so right behind me here, you know, I've started a couple of mango trees from seed, and one actually survived. I was asking the bartender yesterday what type of tree this was, because it just looked familiar. I'm like, is it a macadamia? You know, what if, and he said, they're mango trees. So that's what you have to look forward to if you're growing one from seed. They really get these nice, big, wide, deciduous leaves and clusters. Just a really nice, healthy looking tree. And then one thing that's been unique to this island that I haven't seen at the others is this huge philodendron variety. And those leaves are absolutely giant. They've got to be, I don't know, three and a half, four feet long by two feet wide. Substantial. Okay, so there's one more tree I want to show y'all. I believe it's a weeping bottle brush, but it has yellow flowers instead of the red that I've seen on it before. So maybe it's just a different species. We'll check that out, and then I'm going to get back and enjoy my vacation. All right, y'all. So last but not least, one of my favorite species is weeping bottle brush. They have these really nice, fine, grass-like leaves, and these have some yellow trumpet-like flowers on them. Really cool. This thing's nestled in between some rocks behind a garbage can, but it's definitely the star of the show. So that's going to do it for us today. Uh, St. Martin edition of Jarhead Bonsai. Have a great day, y'all.